So now it comes down to our last second chance heat of the weekend. It's Sini Rotax up next. Let's have a look at your starting grid. So Jod van Vijk from the Netherlands will be on pole position. Alongside him will be James Swindells from the UAE. Vincent van Kerkhoff and Mads Larsen will be on row number two. Come on now, due to start fifth is a non-starter, along with a couple of other drivers as well, which we'll get to in due course. Then it'll be Axel Goes, Montego Masson, Robbie Sorder, Adam Valster, Anton Morsing and Spencer Braun. They will complete the top ten. Jules Roussel, Stein Scholten, Ivar Ag Anagnostiaitis, Enzo van den Dickenberg, and then we've got William Christensen, Gwendal Gouma, uh, then we've got Pat Gubbles, Rafael Jesus, Christian van Gort running out the uh, top 19, Bram Osservada in 20th, Rune de Broeke, Frederick Zebes Christensen, Sim van Fleet, Kansbos House, uh, Scott Westhovens, Jonas Lelou, Jake Bezelbeck, Paul Simart, and Lotus Tween. Four non starters in total, bringing us to 29 drivers uh, Kamal Murad, Mitch Hainert, Alexander Vermeulen, and William Helgstrand. Those are the non starters. And we have some sunshine trying to break through the clouds. How poetic is that? But as with the previous second chance heat, it will be the top six that will go through. And that'll be going through to the uh, top 36. The remaining 23 drivers will be competing for the top three trophies that are going to be given away in the B final. So it's Jod van Vijk on pole position. James Swindells alongside on the front row in the 903, representing the UAE. 29 drivers. 14 and a half rows of competitors. Red lights on the gantry. Seven minutes on the timer, plus an additional lap. Revs rise, I'll be ready, I'll be steady. Lights are out first time as the drivers wrestle with the steering heading into turn one. It's three abreast. Looks like Mads Larsen was uh, hung out a little bit high, wide to dry as we've had an incident. Three carts off the circuit, big time. And a couple of others caught in the crossfire, one of which was Robbie Storder, who was eighth going into turn two. And that was a hefty, he there's going to be a couple of drivers that are either going to have to bring their carts to the pits or they are going to have to watch from the sidelines. Keep my ears out for any noisy exhaust as well, because with a a massive wallop like that. Uh, so we've got more dramas, and that is, that looks to me, that's Jake Bezelbeck that's just gone around the 328. So I'm not too sure if he uh, did it on his own or had a bit of an assist. But Jorf van Vijk leads the way. Someone has got a noisy exhaust, and that's in the top 10. Uh, who was involved in that? Uh, Jake, well, you had Anton Morsing, William Christensen, Puck Gubbles dropped down the order. Uh, yeah, William Christensen. So someone's got a noisy exhaust. There's going to be a mechanical black flag out very, very shortly. But Jorf van Vijk led after lap one by nearly four tenths of a second. Out of James Swindells. There's more fighting coming through turn six. One of which is Adam Valster. The other one is Mads Larsen from Denmark in the 907 from RS Competition. Just behind them, they've got Gussie van Gorp. She's trying to chase them down, and that's around about... 12th, 11th, well, the battle for 11th or 12th position. And there are plenty of fights up and down the order. And the mechanical black flag has gone to Aaron Valster in the 382, currently running according to the timing, 12th place at the moment. Vincent van Kerkhoven's got a fight on his hands. 
over uh, Anagnostiitis is actually weathered, weathered the storm and she is up into sixth place. She's got the likes of Vincent van Kerkhoffen and uh, Stane Schultz are not too far behind. The battle is really, really getting a bit furious between Van Kerkhoffen, Schulten, Gumma, Van Fleet is at the back end of that train, I believe. In the 365. So the drivers now come out of the final right-hander and go across the line after the chicane. Uh, Jot van Vijk still leads. Axel goes for TB Cart Netherlands in second. Jules Roussel has now got past. And Adam Valster still has been showing the mechanical black flag. We have got yellow flags at the approach to turn five, the right-hand sweeper. So no overtaking permitted. Careful. Oh, my goodness me. I think there was a change there. That was for more than likely fifth position. So they do have to be careful. It's actually turn seven. There is a cart to the outside. On the right-hand side, Anton Morsing. Oh, that could be Jonas Lelou in the number 385 from Belgium. Might be out of the race now. Here this fight still goes on. As, oh, that's off. That's a big off. That was James Swindell's off the circuit. Coming through into the right-hander. The 903 went off. And Jules Roussel has dropped to fifth position. And still again, I think that's for the third time I've just heard. Adam Valster's cart go past the start-finish line whilst the mechanical black flag is being shown. And if that's the case, then that driver is going to get a black flag and be effectively excluded from the race. And there is James Swindells. It was completely exit stage left for the Emirati-based driver. It's a real shame for him. He's doing a pretty good performance. So at the moment, Jot van Vijk leads the way. There is the 336 just coming into shot. That is Stan Scholten, who's currently eighth. Now another change. That is for third position. So that would have been Jules Roussel against Montego Marston. And Ivar Anagnostiaidis and Vincent van Kerkhoffen now round out the top six. Two minutes to go. Yep, so Jonas Lelou is out. James Swindells, well, that's uh, a story we don't need to keep on going on about. It's a real shame uh, for the XL Motorsport driver. We're coming down to the final minute and three quarters of this senior Rotax second chance heat. Still could be the opportunity for drivers to make some inroads. And for a lot of them, this will just give them a little bit more track time ahead of next week's uh, penultimate round of the 2023 Rotax Max Challenge Euro Trophy season. Gustav van Gorp's now made it into the top 10. She's currently behind uh, Gwenda Gorma in the 904 from France. Stane Schulten, eighth. Seam van Fleet, eight and a bit tenths of a second away from Vincent van Kerkhoffen, who rounds out the top six. But with 30 seconds to go, our leaders cross the line. Onto the penultimate lap we head. And Jules Roussel has got past Axel Goes, who's now finding he's having to defend sternly against Montego Massen from Germany. And now Massen looks for the inside. Up the inside he goes on the 355 from the Netherlands through turn number three. And uh, Iva Anagnostiaidis is keeping with them. She's got the ringside seat. Van Kerkhoffen is a further 1.2 seconds back, but has about 1.1 second advantage over Sim van Fleet. This next time around, we will have the final lap board out. So 
So just under 1.4 kilometers to negotiate here at Marienburg. And the lead between Jod van Weyck uh, and Jules Roussel is just over 0.36 of a second. William Christensen has set the fastest lap of the race and the Dane, unfortunately, will not make it through. Uh, he's currently 25th at the moment behind uh, all, you know, those people that love red actions, aka Bramos Savada in 24th, Jake Bezerbeck in 23rd, Puck, uh, Puck Gubbles 22nd, Bruno de Broeke 21st, and Robbie Stodder completing the top 20. Jod van Wyk has done exactly what he needed to do. Lead, start from the front and lead all the way around every single lap. There was chaos and pandemonium behind the number triple three from the Netherlands. As there is Axel goes just ahead of either An Anagnostiaidis. But it's going to be Jort van Wyk that wins the second chance heat for Senior Rotax ahead of Jules Roussel. Germany's Montigo Masson in third ahead of Axel goes with Australia well represented courtesy of Iva Anagnostiaidis. She finishes in fifth place ahead of Vincent van Kerkhoven, who takes the final provisional sixth position. Sim van Vliet, Steen Scholten, Gussie van Gorp and Gwendolyn Goma round out the top ten. Kasbos House, Mads Larsen, Enzo Dickenberg, then we've got Paul Simard, Frederick Zevis Christensen, Spencer Braun from the UK, unfortunately unable to make it past the second chance heat and into the final stages of the round. He finishes ahead of Scott Westhovens, Rafael Jesus, Lotus Twin and Robbie Stodder running out the top 20. Rudy de Broeke, Park Gowles, Jake Bezelbeck, Bramo Savada and William Christensen for the last of the classified finishers with a noisy exhaust. Adam Valster was, black, uh, was uh, then basically excluded and had to pit. Well, after three laps, he had a noisy exhaust. James Swindells exited stage left whilst uh, in third position at the uh, final right-hander on the circuit on lap number three. Jonas Lelou out on lap two. And Anton Morsing, due, the, due to the first lap incident at turn two, was eliminated on the spot. Kamal Manad, Mitch Haynett, Alexander Vermeulen, and William Helgstand, unfortunately, not starting. <laughs>